Hey guys, what is up? As you can see, well, wishy thing's not on right now. I've been fooling around with the microphone. Right now, from the test recording that I did before, I had both speakers working, so you won't hear me out of one ear anymore. You actually have to listen to me out of both ears, which I am really sorry about that. You actually have to listen to my annoying voice even more. But I got some huge news regarding to Grand Theft Auto 6 and pretty much our channel alone and honestly this is some of the biggest news I've got for you ever regarding both GTA 6 and our channel alone but before we get into this I'm gonna be like all those other youtubers I'm gonna ask you for subscribe and I'm gonna beg you and maybe even trick you by saying some crappy old bullshit like YouTube's put in a new update with this whole like button if you click like three times yeah uh, I've been watching a few YouTube videos and that shit's been all over the place since YouTube made this massive update YouTubers are lying trying to get you to click that like button and subscribe. I could care less honestly. I do this for entertainment. I do this because it's fun. I'm not here to milk all the subscribers out of you guys and everything but hey what works what works for you. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to get back into like just recording and everything um, I have to stop itching I'm ha I have a big problem with itching my tattoo but while well, we're talking on subscribers right now um, if you guys are somewhat older fans back when we started in February and March you know we hit 10,000 a few times and got dropped down and everything and you know how pissed off I've been at the whole YouTube's been dropping our subscribers and recently I got an email I've been emailing YouTube back and forth because we finally thanks to the Let's Be Jimmy Rage compilation videos thank you so much you guys for showing so much support that got us over that 90,000 watch minute a month limit before you are given access to emailing YouTube for support and thanks to those videos we were able to actually get into contact with YouTube and start emailing them about this whole idea of why our subscribers are being dropped why we can't subscribe to people etc etc and they just finally got back to me after like two three months of emailing them calling them out on bullshit they are gonna be investigating this whole subscriber drop and what they said in the email I have to pull it up you remember exactly what they said but pretty much long story short eh, they're gonna check out the subscribers if all you guys turn out to be legit which I know you guys are legit I know we're not doing some shady shit shit behind this oh now you fucking want to record it back to me oh my fucking god I've been fooling around with my microphone setup and it has not been playing back audio and now you just fucking did but going back to what I was saying before I know there's YouTubers out there that are like buying subscribers, buying views, buying blah 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 and they get their channel either pulled or fake shit gets taken away from them. And that we were a victim of that. Not saying we did it. I'm just saying we were a victim of pretty much due to the Rage Comp videos, YouTube thought we were a fake channel. And they took away a lot of our hard work and we recently got in contact and long story short they said if everything checks out we get everything back I looked at my analytics and to see how many true subscribers we lost and everything and it's up in the hundred thousand to two hundred thousand range so if we gain all the subscribers back or even just a fraction of that it's gonna be huge for this channel pretty much we're gonna shoot up from like four thousand almost five thousand back up to where we should be right now and I don't really know what else I got to say other than thank you guys and stay active really that's all I got help us prove to YouTube we're not fake because if I'm fake then what the fuck am I <laughs> if I'm fake I don't really know what to say about that but that's really it I got on that subject we may be getting a huge subscriber jump. They said probably predicting February-ish, pretty much our one year. If it lands perfectly on the one year, that I would freaking love, which I would have like a huge fucking video for. But yeah, I've been out working a lot. I do overnights, third shift, 
overnight, so I'm really sorry our videos aren't constant anymore. I gotta get back in. And I planned Monday, yesterday, over today, well, day after once when you guys see the video. I don't know when you guys see these videos. I was gonna record all like a few videos, but I got home at like 8 o'clock and I just passed the fuck out. And I woke up, passed out at like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, no, actually, it was like 8.30, I leave. I'm supposed to leave work at 7, but I usually don't leave work till 8 and then get half an hour drive back. 8.30, so probably I didn't pass out till 9 and I didn't wake up till 3 in the morning. So I kind of didn't get too m I didn't really have the day to record, so I got the payday video out. I just recently reset my computer, so this is an old gameplay video that I found. Oh, sorry about this. I'm going to get back into gameplay videos once when all my games redownload. I just recently got a new graphics card and, and everything. But enough about me. I want to get into this whole Grand Theft Auto shit and people that I've been telling me about. And it kind of revolves around this release date. People are trying to say it's coming out earlier just for views and clickbaiting. Another problem. I'm going to leave for a whole separate video. But... People are still trying to say that it's going to be coming out in 2018, when in reality, Rockstar has even said it's been delayed from the original release date. And 2018 seemed like an original release date, but if it's being delayed, that means it's not coming out in 2018, so people stop fucking saying it's coming out in 2018. It ain't fucking happening. And that was really funny right there. I, got, I still got my huge computer monitor. My tiny one over that. I'm trying to get a second one of one of these things. Don't know if I. I'm pretty sure I posted up on Twitter. If you guys want to go follow me down, description below. But people are trying to say Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be coming out in 2018 when it's really not. It's going to be more like 2020. It's got v. They're not going to say it has VR capabilities, but they really want to put in VR and. For 2018, Lily, this is now 27, Lily, one year minimum, I don't see it happening. You see a lot of these sort of lower games that have VR capability. VR has now been out. I think really didn't. The HTC Vive have been out, has been out, wow, grammar, has been out for a few years now, but only really small communities and black people were able to try it in the beginning, let alone get their hands on it to make a game. I had the opportunity to actually try it out, and I loved it. And to see how long it took these smaller games with smaller implement uh, implementations, I believe is the correct word I'm looking here, for it, it took them quite some time, but... To take that on such a massive scale as Grand Theft Auto series, it's not going to be like a one-year project. It's going to be like two or three years at least just to work on the VR part. Yeah, they have the first-person stuff down with the next gen. Do I see that helping in it? Yes, but to cut off like a whole entire year of work, I don't think so. Cause mainly Grand Theft Auto throwing in like first-person, which is taking the camera. Throwing in front, right on top and changing around some animations. That's kind of, for the most part, dumbing down on how simple it really was to throw first person into everything. I know it took a lot more changing a lot of lighting bit and changing around settings. But for the most part, it looks more like it could only cut off two to three months worth of time. How much do I know about programming? I attempted it back when I was younger from about 15 to 18 and... And it's still to this day, occasionally I will jump back in Unity, full around, just keep my coding up if I ever do feel like jumping back in it. But, will we ever see Grand Theft Auto in 6 in 2018? I honestly am willing to put a bet on. We will not, and I actually do want to, give me a quick second thing. What would I be willing to give up? Oh, I know. Here. If we see Grand Theft Auto in 2018... I will give up my computer monitor. I will actually take a photo right now of my computer monitor so you guys can see my computer monitor. And we see Grand Theft Auto in 2018. One of you guys will get my computer monitor. Okay? Fine. 
Get a better picture. Got a better day. Here. You guys all see my vape. You guys have probably seen like a thousand times over. I'm gonna put it down the bottom right hand. And if Grand Theft Auto comes out in 2018, I will give away my computer monitor, not the vape. Hell no. I will sooner give away this thing to one of my subscribers. And you guys will get my computer monitor. There. Grand Theft Auto comes out in 2018. I will give away my computer monitor. That is the best thing I can think of on off the top of my head. I will hold to it. And pretty much that is how confident I am that Grand Theft Auto 6 will not be coming out. And I want to make clarification. Any sort of side games like Liber not Liberty City, more like Ballad of Gay Tony, Chinatown Wars, Stories of Liberty City, those type of Grand Theft Auto games do not count. That I do see happening. Sort of a side game that has really every single game is independent with each other. But unlike a titled one like Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 6, and specifically has to be named Grand Theft Auto 6 for it to come out in 2018 for me to give away my computer monitor. Now we got that out of the way, I got one last little information that one of you guys actually did point out in one of my videos. I briefly touched on this earlier, but I don't think I gave it enough justice. I'm really sorry about the user that mentioned this to me, but Red Dead Redemption 2 cannot be a sequel. And that is going to be for the reason there was in more or less the actual title of it and a few of the screenshots, like video plays, there's a few characters. I believe one of them, his name is Bill, if I'm not mistaken. can't remember all the name of the characters off the top of my head, so I do apologize for that. But, one of the quite notable characters that die in Red Dead Redemption, the original one we saw. So, fuck for Damn it, I did not word this correctly. Okay. Long story short, there's a few characters in Red Dead Redemption that die, but are seen in the movie trailer for Red... Not movie. You guys fucking know what I mean, alright. People die in Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead... People die in Red Dead Redemption, but they're still seen in the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. And you guys pointed that out to me, so I am correcting myself on that. Red Dead Redemption 2 is not a... Sequel... Not a pre. Oh my. Red Dead Redemption is a pre. Mother. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel, not a sequel. Oh Lord Jesus, how do I do this? How do I work on this much sleep? I just fucking slept near 20 hours and I can't even do a video for. Fucking 15 minutes. It's only been 13 minutes and like 45 seconds. Oh lord, Jesus, help me. I have work tomorrow. How do I work on less sleep than this? But guys, pretty much, we may be getting huge subscriber boosts. Grand Theft Auto 6 is not coming out in 2018. It's going to be more like 2020. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel, not a sequel. And it's supposed to be coming out in fall 2017. So... That's really all I got for this. My computer's fully resetted. I'm trying to get a solid state drive. I'm getting a graphics card, a new graphics card, so hopefully my games look better and less laggy, which you guys definitely told me about in the last one. I am sorry about that. It, that kind of kind of was the reason why I reset it. And like, my computer kind of sucks. I'm pretty much going to be sleeping most of the day or cleaning, so fuck it. I'm just going to reset my computer and install. Watch Dogs and Payday 2. And of fucking course, Watch Dogs still keeps asking for me to insert disk into G Drive, even though my G Drive is a fucking USB drive. Dude, I gotta figure that shit out. Cause I wanna do Red Dead Redemption for you guys. Not Red Dead Redemption, Watch Dogs. 
Holy shit, I cannot get my... I think I should just end this before I make myself look even more stupider, and I know that's not how work than I already am. So, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will try to keep you guys updated with everything I can, whether it be Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto, any games that you guys want to really know anything about, I can do some research in. Also, if you have a game you would like us to see... If you guys have a game that you would like to see me try and or probably epically fail at because I haven't done a lot of gaming in a while. Yeah, I'm a gaming YouTuber and I haven't gamed in a while because so my goddamn work I've been doing a lot of these updates and kind of put in between. But if you guys like to see a game on the channel, just let me know. I will do my best to get a hold of a copy for it and try it out on the channel. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if you come, if you sub, if you, fuck. I should just give up right now. <laughs> if you guys like right now, you guys will get an Apache attack helicopter in your mail tomorrow morning. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm not falling. I'm never falling for that shit. I hope you guys never actually believe that. The moment you hit the like button, somehow you're gonna get a fucking Apache helicopter in your mailbox. And if someone can fit an Apache helicopter in your mailbox, tiny one you get like those. Those stores that you got by that's kind of a novelty gift that you leave in the box because your parents tell you, Keep that, and one day it'll be worth a lot of money. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and always never forget this much. Stay real. Thank you.